Good morning, Twiglets. It's Wednesday. Welcome to a new weekly vlog. I am on my way to the gym and then I've got a gynecologist appointment. Um, I just wanted to show you guys my little gym fit. I'm not vlogging in the gym. I'm obviously not vlogging at the gynecologist, but I want to show you guys um, that one piece that I got from Kippa um, just so that you guys can see how it fits. My Uber is nearly here, so let me hurry. So, this is the fit. Sneakers on. We are ready to work out. I need to find a way to show you guys my fits. But anyways, let me go to the gym. Guys, I'm back from the gym, back from the gynecologist. The gynecologist is so expensive for us to be going around Regisadi Bari. Like, <laughs> anyways. Did it for me. Had to go check that everything was looking good and clean and ready for a baby one day. Um, actually, no, I didn't go check to see if it's ready for a baby, but I stay ready. <laughs> what I absolutely love about this camera is that I can charge and form. I just wanted to tell you guys about this wrap that I made. Um, I used some leftover lamb that we had for dinner the other night, and I just folded in with some of my favorite things, and it is bussin. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I keep outdoing myself when it comes to wraps. I keep making the best wraps I've ever made. I went through a sandwich phase, phase. Now I'm going through a wrap phase, and it is so good. I just come from the gym, and your girl has made cinnamon buns. What are they called? <laughs> from scratch why when some of us are trying to keep fit lose weight what's your reason i'm just following my passion your passion is killing us <gasps> they look so good they smell so delicious maybe i'll have one or you save me one for breakfast for tomorrow looks absolutely delicious guys i'm having lunch with my bestie and he's kind of disappointing me because he doesn't want to have a beverage with me but to be fair it is monday but i spent the whole weekend sober because i was working um but we're having a little bestie catch up i haven't we haven't spent time this, this year no first time we hang out this year i'm doing individual catch-ups tomorrow i'm seeing zananda and i figured i need to actually see lemmy as well <laughs> um and I need to see Lemmy at some point during the week. It feels like we're having one on one work sessions. Say hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Can you please don't work with you? Please don't tell people that I'm just a drinker. Because then we've got an assumption of me that I only drink. I'm wholesome, wholesome 2024. Okay, we're doing a wholesome 2024. Until end of Jan, I get paid. And then it's a mess. <laughs> We 
I'm so glad you're drinking. I look horrible, I feel horrible. I've had a couple of horrible days, but it's fine. It's the 23rd of Jan. And I've seen some butterflies, so maybe it's gonna be a good day, but I'm at Morningside Shopping Center. I'm meeting up with Zenande for a catch-up lunch. Haven't seen her or hung out since the year started. We haven't been booked together. I was with Cooks yesterday, cause same thing. Um, so we're just gonna have a little girly catch up, see how she's been, see what our plans for the year are, where we see ourselves going, how we're gonna grow more in the channel, and just as beautiful black girls. Then going to Club Momo, Club Moko. I'll tell you, I'll put the, yeah. See you guys inside! But I can't be boring. Though. You can't be boring. I have, I have, I have to have something that Say hi! Welcome to my channel. Hello! Guys, I'm catching up with Z. I tried to you look so beautiful. I need to take wait, I need to Yeah, 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 Good morning Twiglets, it is Wednesday and I have not that much to do but I've got quite a few things to do today. As you guys saw yesterday I went out for lunch with Denande, we went to Club Como. I'm still getting the name wrong but it's that new place there by Morningside Shopping Center. It's very cute. I went, we went on a Tuesday afternoon, it was quiet, the service was great. I had sushi and a delicious whiskey sour. Absolutely enjoyed the sushi. I also had calamari. Zanande had an oxtail with polenta. Absolutely delicious. We really enjoyed our food and our time there. It's just so sad that like such a beautiful restaurant, like the only view we have is the parking lot. But inside is absolutely amazing. I don't like where we were sitting, but like that was my choice. Um, because I wanted to like be out shade. But like inside the decor is really beautiful, well thought out. Um, I just didn't give myself enough time to like like walk around and really take in the interior of the restaurant but it was really pretty and i had a good time there um today we're doing some gym going to the gym i'm gonna do back and biceps and a little bit of cardio i need to walk it out i did legs yesterday and my legs are in so much pain and then i have to do grocery shopping um because we haven't bought like proper groceries like since Boma December to be honest with you I've just been buying bits and bobs here and then I'm going to Diskem wow stability please then I'm going to Diskem um to get my HPV vaccine I don't know if you guys have seen the latest news but H the HPV vaccine is like if a woman or a man is fully vaccinated using the HPV vaccine that prevents them from getting cervical cancer like that is one of the biggest news that have come out in science around cervical cancer I went for my annual checkup with my gynecologist and she suggested that I get that because there is a new strain of HPV so obviously prevention is better than cure um, so um, that's why I'm going there for my vaccine um, but yeah let me go get my day started don't forget to like comment and subscribe the previous vlog did, is doing so well the views are up the engagement rate is up you guys are watching the vlogs um, longer like from you're not just watching the first two minutes and getting bored and like checking out like you you are all tuned in which I absolutely love but I don't know if I mentioned this in the previous vlog, but I want to keep my vlogs like under 20 minutes. So this won't be that long, but it will be entertaining. It will be educational and it will be fun. So thank you for those that do view, those that are subscribed and those that leave a like and a comment. I really appreciate you. Um, I will check in later. Want me to get ratchet, niggas want me to attack it. Put the hood on, all the time, let me catch this. Run you like Bob Saget, pretty, I can't pass it. Eating 
and everything to get no fast I don't care what you knew me in the past tense I ain't no Julia Styles, this ain't no last dance We pass it, wait Fucking on my ex cause he validate me Fucking up a check, I don't want no receipt Mine get possessed, let my space speak freely Hey, my past can't escape me My pussy precedes me Why my how the time change I'm still playing the victim And you still playing the picky Not bad, but so. <laughs> really? That is crazy. Guys, I've just finished getting my jab and doing a few bits and bobs in this game and Woolies. And the guy at Woolworths is like, can you buy me a new iPhone with your money? <laughs> And he's the second man today to ask me to buy him something. At Discam, the man asked me to buy him... No, at Checkers, the man asked me to buy him... How about... Eh, eh, getting future life. He saw me picking up some Kellogg's for myself and asked me to buy some future life. And I was like, no, why would I do that? I about to please just buy me future life. That time he works there. I was like, this is so awkward. Like, what energy am I giving off that men are asking me to buy them stuff? Whatever it is, I don't like it. But anyways, I'm done with my day. Gym done. Vaccine done. Gym done. Jab done. Grocery shopping done. I'm going home now, take a nice long shower and make myself a nice lunch. I'm so hungry. I bought some yummy things because i think i want to put together a nice cheese board situation and make yummy john walker cocktails for mom and i for the Bafana game it's playing at 7 p.m so maybe like a pre pre-dinner snacks or post-dinner snacks post-dinner nibbles um and enjoy the game and see the boys win the boys are winning I'm so sure of it. They're in their bag and they're winning. And it's Dibbukho's birthday. Last game, it was Ranwan's birthday. We won. This game, it's Dibbukho's birthday. We're going to win. So let me go home. I told my mom I was going to be back before 3. I thought I'd be home by 12. <laughs> but that's obviously a dream because my appointment for my jab was at 12. So I don't know where I came up with that nonsense. But it is home time. I have other content that I'm meant to shoot, but like <laughs> inspiration are you cool? <laughs> there is no inspiration to shoot at, but let me make my way home. I need a nice playlist. I need something nice. Let me just listen to my top 20 of my wrapped playlist. See you guys at home. Everyone thinks I'm looking at me crazy and I don't care. Guys, I'm back home from my workout, grocery shop, vaccine day, etc. Um, I've removed the plaster that the nurse had applied and so far there are no after effects or symptoms. She did tell me that my arm will just feel heavy and it will be sore um, where um, she jabbed me. That I can feel it is sore, but it's not like... 
it's almost like having a bruise. If you've had your COVID vaccine, it's that feeling. Um, and she just said I might get a fever. So I'm on a Panado, two Panados every six hours. I've taken my six, oh my six, I've taken my two because I've just had lunch. And then I just wanted to show you this um, tea tree oil shampoo that I picked up while I was at Dischem. As you guys saw, I picked up quite a few stuff and i won't take i won't do like a grocery haul or anything like that because i did get quite a few things but as i go and use things i will mention them especially for something that stands out so the reason why i got this um shampoo it's for all hair types daily use for healthy looking hair it helps to alleviate dry itchy um scalp so I use it um, because I bleach my hair so often. My hair gets very, very dry and very, very itchy. And there's like some areas where I feel like it's scabbing and very um, sensitive, especially after um, bleaching. So I've decided to get tea tree oil. I know some of my friends have had like some really bad um, scalp issues where like their hair falls off and they have to not cut their hair and all of that. Um, so one of my friends, Jax, actually recommended that I get a shampoo with tea tree oil. Um, just want to find where it says it has very good, it has very strong germ, lice, and knit destroying properties. Um, and then it's also good, it's suitable for use for dry, flaky, and itchy scalp conditions such as dandruff, eczema, and psoriasis. Um, so I think Jess got, has psoriasis um, where her hair literally just does not grow anymore. Um, and I think before she committed to just cutting it off, um, she was using tea tree oil. I'm sure she does still treat her scalp with it, but I'm trying to prevent my scalp from getting further damaged because I do bleach quite often. Um, so part of bleaching, you are required to moisturize your hair more than normal. You are required to do more treatments to like prevent anything from happening. So I feel like because my hair is short and all I do is cut and bleach once a week, I do get lazy to do the treatment part. My hairline is kind of disappearing. So I've been using, so I'm going to be using this. Um, I've been using some rosemary oil and I'm going to be using custard oil to just bring back my hairline and just make sure that I've got a full, healthy head of hair. Um, but for now, I'm going to watch The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Reunion. I started watching a little bit. Monica is just disappointed because i was team monica but now like she just seems very immature um and then i'm gonna take a little nap because i'm tired i want to wake up fresh around five or six to prepare a little charcuterie board shark booty board what do they call it Pfft. shark meat board um for my mom and i we're gonna be watching the final game together at seven o'clock um very nervous but i want to make it cute i want to just have like, a cute little evening with my mum tea, so I will see you guys later when I'm doing that. I've been all in my phone, I got options. And I don't wanna tell you to drop it. But I don't wanna play your face. Yeah, something that makes me look at you too often. Oh, baby, you can give us something. Baby, I can run all the time. Talk it crazy, I need you right in my space for I need it, baby, I'm late, but I still can check in with you I know that I need my friends, but I wouldn't want to leave You know I wouldn't want to bleed Even my heart, my mind, and my body Say, 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 say It's just started pouring with rain it is half past six kick off is at seven o'clock and i've made a cute little cheese board for my molly and i as well as some whiskey sours but a new take on them let me just find the name before i lie to you guys it's like a cranberry cranberry and orange whiskey sour something like that but it's got cranberry juice, orange juice, egg whites, simple syrup, squeeze of lime, and voila, got yourself a cranberry orange whiskey sour. And then I've put it together with a nice cheese board. I got a lot of the cheeses 
from Woolworths. Um, let me actually just show you guys instead of describing something. Because I did put in my heart and my soul. I'm very anxious for the game, but I cannot drink because I got my jab. So the cocktails are for my mamali. So if you see me cheesing in the video, just know I'm not drinking. Here's my cheese board. And I got some bultong and fruits and some nice pitted olives to it. And then there are my cocktails. It's such a cute setup that I have going on over here. And then I might add some crisps for myself and more cheese. How cute. So my mom makes her own pesto. So I've mixed these. In here, just add Guys, my battery's about to die. Just finished doing my pedi and now I'm fetching my car. It needed a wash. It hasn't been washed since December, since last year. Um, but my battery's gonna die, so there's not much I can show you until I get home. But yeah, we have the car wash. Let me just pay so I can go home. I have so much work to do. Can I close this door? Good morning Twiglets. I hope everybody is well. I have not closed off this vlog. So much has happened since the last day I did a vlog. But I just wanted to say goodbye. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'd like for you to let me know what you think of what I've been eating. What more I should show you guys of my... I don't want to say diet because I'm not on a diet. But like, do you have any tips and tricks for me? Do you want me to show anything else? um what else you want to see in my vlogs of course but i'm closing off it is monday i'm off to cape town for an sa20 game i'll obviously bring you guys along but i need to say goodbye on here before i can say hello on there so i will see you guys in the next one